So um, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and um, the coaching part is I try to, I work with teachers to try to encourage and help them teach those subjects in innovative ways. So this is a new position um, just two years ago. We have brand new science standards that we just adopt, started to adopt two years ago, so it's perfect timing. Um, it's also, a, especially science, is something that most elementary school teachers probably feel the least confident in of all the subjects that they teach. So it's, it's great to have somebody there, I think, to help support um, their efforts. So the kinds of things I do are um, I do professional development, I work with teachers to plan, to find curriculum resources, to find good quality resources that are out there. I go out myself a lot. I work with other people in other districts. I work with other leaders to try to really figure out what is the best stuff that we can have for our kids. I also try to do things, I work directly with teachers. So I do a lot of planning with teachers. I co-teach, I model. If It's one of those things where um, we want our teachers to take risks and it helps to take a risk if there's somebody there with you. So I'll say, hey, try something. Try something with me. You know what I mean? Try it with me. And then they feel confident enough to do it. We work on it together. And then it'll spread from there. So if one teacher has success with that, then they can take it from there. Um, the other thing I try to do as a coach is try to make links with the community. So um, as much as possible, get our teachers and our students in touch with our local resources and working together on common goals. So for example, going to a place like Right Lock Farm, we have all kinds of human impact standards, all kinds of life science standards that are perfect fit. We're trying to work on learning through um, community activism as well. So it's like, how can we do service learning at the farm that's directly aligned with our um, science curriculum? For example, preventing farm runoff is one of our standards. Well, what a great place to learn how to do that. You know, actually doing a project with them. Um, looking at people, working with people in the fells, working at people in local um, renewable energy resources to try to uh, make science learning for kids actually real, relevant, and applicable to the real world. Thank you.